what's up you guys welcome back to my channel my name is Shirley and if you're new here welcome please consider subscribing leaving a comment showing me some love by liking this video share it whatever you got to do if you've been with me for a while thanks again welcome back I have a thrift store haul just a quick update before I um, get into it I have a slight cough. I actually went to get tested for COVID because I've been sick like a dog for like four or five days. So hopefully those results come out well. But in the meanwhile, before I got sick, I was thrifting. I went to auctions. I've been doing my normal thing and just haven't had the chance to film. So I might do two, three videos today since I'm feeling just a little better, put some makeup on and just kind of feel more like myself so if i feel like i'm coming to a cough attack i will edit it out but if i do have a cough here and there excuse me so um as you guys know based on my last few videos that i've been all about my home and i just believe like if you make your home super cozy whether you buy it new thrifted whatever and how you like it it just makes you feel homey. It makes you feel like you want to be home and just enjoy and live your best life at home. So that's what I've been doing. Um, just purchasing little things here and there for my home. That's what I've been all about. So there's no random order. This is strictly things I found either at a thrift store, an auction, or a liquidation place. Um, that sells things for really, really cheap and they're brand new. So that's what I'm doing. So my first thing, I don't think I show you guys this, but if I did, I'm just going to show it again just in case. I picked this up for $2.99 and is this beautiful, I'm into the gold tones right now. So it's like a, um, uh, it sits back and you can put like a recipe book Whatever you like in here, just as it sits, it's beautiful. I love all the detail of the leaves, as you see. And I just love it. I just love the wood accents. And this is going on my kitchen counter somewhere. I might put just a recipe book on there. Um, but yeah, so this is my first little find. Um... I've also been searching for more um, coffee table books. I showed you two um, like recipe type of coffee table books that I picked up. I found this one um, for $2.99. It's called Making Faces. And I just love the colors, the face, the black and white, the lettering. I mean, it has a little bit of wear, but who cares? And it's just beautiful, beautiful, different, beautiful frames, different looks that you can do and learn from. So a lot of cool little information if you want to do a classic look, um, a colorful look. So I thought that this was interesting and this would be nice to just lay on the coffee table. So whenever I want to look into it and have a cup of coffee or tea or whatnot, I have something here to look at. So that's that. Um, I picked up a little rug for my bathroom. This one came from that store, the liquidation store. I think I paid like $3 for this rug for when I come out the tub. So it's just, it's brand new. I love that gray and white print and it's just like cream colored in the back. Um, I do have a round gray rug in the entrance of my bathroom. So this would match perfectly, you know, coming out the shower. So I picked that up. I found another book, but this here is going to be, I found more stuff than what I'm going to show you, but since I'm doing Mother's Day baskets, a few of the items like from the liquidation place and things like that will be going on there. So I don't want to show you everything I picked up because I'm saving that for that video. But today, um, 
I was just looking through all the bags of what I'm going to show and I just grabbed this. But this here is going to one of my Mother's Day's gifts. And it says a book of angels. And it's just details, reflections on angels past, present, and true stories on how they touch our lives. So um, one of the baskets that I am gifting, this person is very interested in these kind of things. So there is a fold here. But the book is in really good condition and I thought they would find this interesting to read as part of their Mother's Day basket idea. Um, I found me this bag. It was $6. It's in like really good condition. I absolutely love the bag and the round detail. As you see, it has a nice pouch in there that's the bottom and it's just a cute little tote it's like a magnetic snap-on and then the inside is really spacey has other compartments here um it doesn't have a name brand on this bag so i have no idea let me see what there's a tag here i don't know I have no idea where this bag is from. Um, the only little flaw is on the inside. It has like a little mark there. But it's like a like a dark mauve color in the tan side. But super adorable, super spacey, sturdy, pretty well made. So I'm happy with it. So, yep, I found me that bag. I found this cute, um, it's from Route 21, and it's like a fishnet top, like the neon colors, short in the front, higher on the back, and I love wearing this, like, if we're going to the beach or the pool, like, um, my bathing suit underneath, just to throw on, on top, or put a tank top underneath, so super adorable, sleeveless. And the material is nice and soft and it was 50% off. So I think I got this for like a buck or a dollar fifty. The next cute top that I found um, is priced three dollars, but I got it at half off. And I love this type of green colors, like that olive green. And it's just this cute top like this. It just flows right like by your waist. I love this metal detail. And then this is the back. So you have your back out and I have like an upper tattoo. So my tattoo shows and yeah. So this would be cute with leggings, a skirt, some ripped jeans, however you want to dress it. And I thought it was so adorable. I love that color. The next top that I picked up it was $3, but at half off. And it's this pure, it's like a, it's like a mauve pink. Let me, it ties up here, like over the neck. And then let me put that inside. You see the detail, it's sleeveless and it's flowy on the bottom. I love that flowy effect on the bottom. And that's how it looks in the back. So I absolutely love blouses like that. I found me some leggings. They were $3 as well, but half off. What brand? It just says Yogalicious in this pink. So just your normal leggings. I love the bottom detail. It has like that knitted print towards the end on both sides so super comfy I gotta wash these I haven't um washed them or anything I also found me a brand new sports bra I don't know what brand it doesn't say a brand but the original price was $36, then it was reduced to $10, and I paid like 
three dollars for it but look how cute and comfy just your neutral color striped sports bra super stretchy and like i said if you go when you go thrifting i find brand new things all the time so brand new with their tags still another shirt i know i went all out with shirts you guys this is an old navy brand but I love it because it's kind of cropped, but like big cropped and it hangs, it hangs to where you can like show a shoulder and it's wide enough. It's like a wide neck shirt. So you can definitely do like the shoulder moment. Um, and it's like the sleeves is short, but it's folded and it's just like a, it's not an all white shirt. It's like an ivory color top. So it's like that loose cropped feel, comfy shirt. This shirt is not for me. This is going towards a Mother's Day gift for my mom. She likes shirts like this. So it's just your gray, just a gray shirt, but she likes like the shoulders showing here. It's just a normal gray shirt that I've picked up for her to add to her basket this top i thought was super cute i think it's a pajama actually and brielle is the brand and it says in the front life is better in pajamas but it's cropped and it has the puffy sleeves ruffled sleeves and striped super adorable see the ruffled sleeve and it says it there in the front and cropped. So super cute too. I would wear this with a pair of ripped jeans or as a pajama shirt, whatever you like. And then I found me some two tank tops because you can't go wrong with these little camis. So I got one in burgundy. And one in white and you can always use those so the best thing I'm gonna have to bring you down and show you this I got at an auction and I only paid eight dollars for it so um if you haven't seen my room makeover um, I switched some decor up and it was kind of get rid of, getting rid of things and I needed a little storage area or bin because I got rid of the one that I wasn't liking, which was like a rattan wicker type of, um, look. So this here is, I'm just going to show you, let me see, does the top come off? I will show you the top here and then I'll bring you down to show you what it looks like. But this is a purple velvet. It has bling on the, I forgot what you call those little indents. Um, and it's just a storage bin where I can store like all the extra things that I got rid of while still looking super cute. So I'm going to flip the camera around and show you what it looks like. So there is the storage bin, you guys. I absolutely love it. It's a decent size super cute and then the inside i mean look at this thing brand new basically and i paid eight dollars at an auction for it so i was super excited to find this piece they had another one in white but it looked a little bit like used and it was also like faux leather but this soft velvet is beautiful, and I'm so happy. I can't wait to put it in my room. So there you go, guys. That is it for my thrift haul. I'm going to be filming. If you see me with the same outfit, I'm not feeling good. So I just wanted to take advantage and do a couple of videos for you guys today, just for the week. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this haul. Like I said, I did find a lot more items in a thrift store or at the um, 
the liquidation place for super cheap, but I'm going to save those items for when I do my Mother's Day gift ideas because I bought some things from Dollar Tree that I hauled, but I also wanted to do some personal touches to that person's taste and what they're into, and I've been lucky to find brand new items, super, super cute, or thrifted items, super cute to add to their basket just to make it more special. So I won't be showing those items until I succeed, until I film that video. So be on the lookout for my Mother's Day gift basket idea videos um, where I'm going to be doing three baskets, my mom, my grandmother, and my mother-in-law, and all just to their taste and touch. Um, anyway, I do hope you enjoyed this little haul. And yeah, you guys, you know, I always find goodies. I'm always shopping and finding goodies at the thrift store because I also resell for a living. So you can't help but to go to auctions and stuff and then find things for yourself as well as um, things to resell. So anyway, don't forget to show me some love. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't mind me. I like I said, I'm on antibiotics and all kind of things. So I'm trying to be my best right now, even with the circumstance. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed and up until the next. See you later. Bye.